Today, Bitcoin jumps back above $30,000. A crypto-friendly congressman vies for the House speakership, and Meyer Gupta of Kraken explains why the firm is turning to Formula One to bring new attention to NFTs. Welcome to CNBC's Crypto World, I'm Jordan Smith. Bitcoin prices in the green coming out of a weekend rally, jumping back above $30,000 by noon Eastern. Ether, meanwhile, jumped to $16.77 and Solana rose to $29. All right, let's talk about the top stories. The House of Representatives is still looking for the next speaker and a crypto-friendly congressman is putting his name forward. NBC News reports that Representative Tom Emmer of Minnesota, the number three Republican in leadership, has officially launched his bid for speaker after the House Republican caucus failed to elect Jim Jordan. Emmer even got an endorsement from former speaker Kevin McCarthy. He's positioned himself as a crypto ally, drafting several bills to boost regulation for the industry, including back in September with a CBDC anti-surveillance proposal. Now, Emmer is jumping into a crowded field of other Republicans vying for the position, but it's still unclear if any of them have the 217 votes needed to win the speakership. Next, WorldCoin, the crypto project launched by OpenAI's Sam Altman, is shifting the way it pays operators of its iris scanning orbs. The platform announced in a post that operator rewards, which were originally paid with the USDC stablecoin, will now be paid in world tokens starting in November. Those are the same tokens paid to users who verify their identity and receive the virtual passport in certain parts of the world. WorldCoin said in the post that the world token launched with a relatively low circulating supply. That let them draw new users onto the platform by offering world tokens in return for signups. This new rewards process for operators will help boost circulating supply for the network. All right, let's talk about the crypto exchange Kraken for our main story. The company is launching its first retail user-focused ad campaign and partnering with Formula One team Williams Racing to boost attention to NFTs. Crypto World's Tanea McKeel spoke to Kraken's chief marketing officer about how the company is driving new focus to the industry during the current downturn. Kraken has a few different initiatives right now. I want to start with this new consumer-focused ad campaign focusing on what crypto can be. Uh, it's actually your first consumer campaign, if I'm not mistaken. So obviously, we've come a long way from the lows of 2022, but it's still, uh, you know, after the first quarter of this year, it has not been an easy market to be in. So I am curious about why you're launching this new initiative now in this particular market. Yeah, I think, um, thanks for having us over. But just for context, of course, you know, we've been around for 12 years. We're one of the oldest and largest exchanges in the world. We've done bits and pieces of marketing effort over the years, but all our growth has pretty much happened on the backing of a fantastic product we built and our credibility that we built over 12 years. But this is the first time, yes, where we are investing at scale, launching at scale in multiple markets around the world, our narrative, uh, with the consumer product we built over the last few years, of course, we are also focused on a more advanced pro product as well. But we believe, you know, because of our journey, we've been through many bulls and bear runs. And our focus during bear runs is going back and focusing on evolving our product, you know, addressing more chinks, as well as building our brand, really driving scale, penetrating the audience. We are massively focused on the next billion people coming into crypto during the next bull run. We look at phases like these bear runs as great opportunities to educate the world around the substance of crypto, the true value prop, shift the focus away from the formal get rich quick, the volatility, but into more the use case of the application because we strongly believe crypto is for everyone, so is Kraken. On one hand, we focus on existing crypto traders who want to, who want to work with platforms that focus on you know, innovation and diversity. But at the same time, we we have also built a platform that is one of the most simplest, simple, simplest and easy to use experiences for people who just want to dabble with crypto. So we feel this is a fantastic opportunity for us to finally scale our incredible product we built over the last decade plus uh, and couldn't be a better timing and opportunity than now to shift the focus to the use cases of crypto today and tomorrow. Does it feel a little bit like there is this need to set yourself apart from, let's say, the bad actors in crypto who fell out last year and maybe face uncertain futures right now? How big, how big of a task is that to say, hey, we're different from, you know, some of the loudest voices in the room? Yes, it's, it's a great question. Um, I love the phrase, some of the loudest voices in the room, because 
as Kraken because of the ethos of our co-founders and and our leadership team now with Dave's leadership as an, as our new relatively newer CEO. See, we've we've never been we've never been the flamboyant character in the race trying to be the loudest voice. That's why we were not racing for the guns in uh, you know, in, during the bull run. Instead, we focused on the substance and, and the mission. And with everything that's going on right now, we strongly believe uh, crypto itself is not on trial. You know, these are individual or very individual uh, examples. We strongly believe crypto is a real technology. It's a movement that solves real needs, real life problems. And uh, it was here long before the rise and fall of some of these players is going to stay here long after the fall of these. So we are absolutely focused on our mission to um, drive the adoption of crypto, to bring financial and economic freedom and inclusion around the world. Um, and uh, we stay focused on that. How have you divided up, if you have, the different sets within the retail group? Um, I know in my reporting, when I'm talking about retail investors, just like when I'm talking about institutional investors, it can mean so many different kinds of things. It can mean, you know, someone who is just casually interested um, and does like a set it and forget it type of thing. It might be someone who really just wants to, you know, get onto the platform to see what's going on, but has no plans to do any of it. Um, way on the other end of the spectrum, there are people who are already crypto native, who are familiar with Kraken, but might not be Kraken customers, um, et cetera, et cetera. So is there, have you sifted through all of those different groups and is there a priority within that broad retail subset for you? Yes, great point. As a business, of course, we focus on um, pretty much all of those segments with different levels of priorities. We we are absolutely focused on um, consumer clients. I would probably assume both you and I will probably fall under that unless after work, you are an advanced and professional trader who you may be. <laughs> you uh, know right? that's not allowed. <laughs> but but that's one, that's one massive, massive cohort, uh, which is very critical. I'll come back to this. We, we also have our pro product, which is purely focused on more advanced traders. Some of them are doing trading full-time as their whole job. Some of them are doing uh, it as part-time, but you know they are just more advanced and they're more deeper into more derivatives and more advanced features and products. And then there are institutional clients. This campaign specifically is focusing on what we call the fence sitters. These are the, the next half a billion and billion crypto users who haven't jumped in yet. They are on the fringes. Our research tells us that a very high, like 50 plus percent of these users actually would love to jump into crypto and test it out because they're typically early adopters. They are the ones who are ahead of the curve in testing out new revolutions and ideas and innovations, but they just haven't found a platform or a partner that can take them along, that can educate them on the foundation, on the basics, you know, and the substance of crypto. So our focus is on what we call those fencers. To, to be the Sherpa, to be the companion and a trusted platform to bring them in. And before we inspire and excite them to trade or, or get into it, we want to take them through a journey to understand a bit more. You know, what really is blockchain? What really is Bitcoin? How is that different from Ethereum or, or other tokens? And some of those very foundational concepts that usually get ignored or have been ignored in, in the prior types of marketing we've seen in the last few years. All right. Well, the other initiative I want to talk about is Kraken partnering with Williams Racing in F1 as part of an NFT contest. Fans voted on a curated list of NFTs and the drivers got to choose which final NFTs were put on their vehicles for a race in Austin. I'm curious about what spurred this idea. And, uh, you know, again, I think similar question, but why double down on NFTs in a time where they seem to kind of be struggling? Yes, yes. So um, the idea is coming out of our belief again on how we think about partnerships and how do we bring partners into the Kraken ecosystem. It's, it's all about, um, again, laddering up to the mission, driving awareness and understanding and education about crypto and the value proposition of this great movement, but piggybacking on the reach and scale and credibility that our partners bring. So Partnering with, with Williams was a no-brainer because we both our brands lean on trust, innovation, and consistency over decades. You know, they're one of the most trusted brands in Formula One. Um, and what we've shown 
um, with our partnership with them, if you if you remember the first race that you know when we were official partners, we actually put uh, the Bitcoin white paper ordinal on the nose of the car. We are now using one of the most prime real estates, which is a rare wing, to highlight and showcase the winning NFT collections from this contest, which shows that our goal isn't to just put the crack and logo and slap it, you know, at, at different different places that we get access to through these partnerships, but instead raise visibility, raise awareness. In this case, raising awareness for those creators and collectors who truly believe in the future of NFTs. And, and yes, you're right, the, the NFT as a category is going through some tough times. This is a slow period, but we strongly believe in the future viability of NFTs, not just for creators and art, but also many other application and use cases of NFT. But, but of course, this is one cohort one application on NF NFT, which is very easily understandable. And our belief um, in that category and in using our partnership with Williams is coming out of that mission and commitment to drive that awareness at a global scale, which I don't think anybody else has done before, at least not in Formula One. All right, that's all for Crypto World today. We'll be back again tomorrow and we'll see you then.